I'd like to stress the importance that we are not promoting sex. We are simply promoting the fact that teens are not always ready to make the right decisions. And in their hastiness, they turn towards sex not fully knowing what it is and what they can be getting into. That is why the affirmative is proposing that we distribute condoms to protect our students if they do choose to make a bad decision from the consequences that bad decision might have. Now, the negative might say that students might not be ready to engage in sexual activity. As true as that might be, would we rather students make a mistake now where they have a safe safety net as birth control than make a mistake in the future when they have no idea what they're doing? And also, the affirmative stated that students will not know how to use condoms. Well, if students never have the opportunity to learn, how will they learn in the future? If they're in college, and in college, as the affirmative stated, is when students should be engaging in sexual activity, how would those students know how to use the condoms if they've never had any experiences at all? The affirmative is simply hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Now, the plan that we are proposing is that all public schools will distribute condoms. In the beginning of the year, a form will be sent home notifying the parents that students may be able to receive condoms and that they must sign this consent form in order for students to be able to receive condoms under their consent. Now, if a student were to go to the nurse and ask for a condom, but they did not have this consent form in, then their parents would be notified that the student has asked for a condom, but the student would still receive the condom. This plan is both practical and desirable because we are not denying the student the ability to have a condom and engage in safe sex, but we are also letting the parents have say in whether or not their students can have sex and informing the parents if the parents are not uh, consent with if the parents do not consent with the student having sex if their student may be engaging in sexual activities. The negative will also argue that providing students with condoms will promote sex. Studies shown in the Massachusetts public schools by a Boston College graduate showed that schools that supported condoms, 49% of the students had sex, but other schools that promoted uh, abstinence, only 42% of the students engaged in sexual activity. This shows that there is only a 7% increase between students who uh, have engaging in sex between schools that do and do not offer uh, sexual protection. This shows that there is not a rapid increase that the, uh, that the negative is proposing between schools that do and do not offer condoms. There is no acceptance of norm. But the fact of the matter is that sex is a norm. Every, almost every male, female will engage in sexual activities. And it is important that we teach them the right and proper way to engage in these sexual activities at this young age than to have them make stupid mistakes in the future. The affirmative does not agree with sex for students, but we do agree with protecting our students from the repercussions that might come from a stupid mistake. We have to be aware that we as young adults will make stupid mistakes. That is part of learning. And instead of having to face the severe and awful repercussions that come with possibly getting pregnant or contracting an STD, it is both practical and desirable to offer students a safety net from their horrible mistakes. Thank you, and vote affirmative.